local news leader and the Spirit of Community Award winner. This is NBC 10 News at 5. A Grambling Honor student shot and killed at a party in Winsboro last night. We tell you what we know so far. And a 16-year-old Swanson Correctional Center escapee is still on the run. Officials are asking for the public's help. Plus, the search continues for a missing deputy in Grant County, Arkansas. Multiple agencies are joining forces to find him. Hello and thank you for joining us this evening. I'm Anna McAllister. Chelsea Jones has the night off. Topping our 5 o'clock hour, a Grambling Honor student shot dead at a house party in Winsboro last night. The community grieving over the loss and demanding justice. NBC 10's Maya Hudgens has the story. It was supposed to be a night of fun. However, that's not how it ended. Sunday, July 20th, Wanisha Bush attended a house party on the corner of Blanson and Smith Street in Winsboro. During that party around 1.10 a.m. Sunday, she was shot and killed. It's unclear how this all started. Officials believe Bush was an innocent bystander at the wrong place at the wrong time. Sheriff Cobb states that he personally knew the victim, saying she was a fine person in college who was succeeding in her life. Her tragic death is the result of being in the wrong place at the wrong time. Bush's friends and family want not only justice, but want to honor her memory. Loved ones will have a balloon release for Wanisha Monday evening on Blanson Street. They are also planning a walk for justice in her honor. Bush was an honor student at Grambling University where she was studying psychology. She was only 20 years old. Franklin Parish Sheriff's Office is asking anyone who knows anything about the shooting to come forward. Reporting in Winsboro, Maya Hudgens, NBC 10, your local news leader. Continuing our crime beat, Louisiana State Police are asking for the public's help to locate a juvenile escapee from Monroe. Police say 16-year-old Kelvin Williams and another juvenile escapee from Swanson Correctional Center escaped early Friday morning. Officials say Williams and his accomplice burglarized a car and stole a cell phone during their escape. The other juvenile was arrested in Shreveport, but Williams is still on the run. He's believed to be in the Shreveport or Monroe area and it's considered to be armed and dangerous. If you see him, call police. And the Union Parish Crime Stoppers are asking for the public's help in finding several wanted suspects. Justin Bain Oliver, Mikado Kemp, Jonathan Marroquin, and Lawrence D. Miller all have warrants out for their arrest. Their crimes range from forgery, felony theft, possession and distribution of narcotics, and aggravated assault. If you have any information on their whereabouts, call the Union, Sheriff, Sheriff, Union Parish Sheriff's Office or Union Parish Crime Stoppers at 318-368-9679. And new information tonight, Louisiana State Police say an 87-year-old man was killed in a car crash Saturday afternoon. Charles May was traveling south on Highway 167 near Dubac when his vehicle traveled off the right side of the road and down an embankment. The car rolled several times and May was pronounced dead at the scene. He was not wearing a seatbelt. It's unclear what caused the crash. And new at 5, the search continues for a Grant County deputy who went missing on Lake Washita Friday night. Multiple agencies joining forces to find him. KARK's Rochelle Turner has the story. Dozens of law enforcement agencies searching for Grant County Sheriff's Deputy Keith Wright. Oh, Lord, it, you know, you can't describe how, uh, how much outpouring of offers to help from all our agencies in, in, in Arkansas. Grant County Sheriff Ray Vance says this is tough, especially since it's his brother in blue. We're under a lot of pressure. We, we're, you know, this one of our own. Montgomery County Sheriff's Office leading the search Saturday. The sheriff says Wright was enjoying time on the lake Friday night when it happened. Him and a friend have been on a pontoon boat. Uh, they jumped off the boat approximately the same time. The sheriff says the two surfaced, but their boat drifted. Law enforcement confirms Wright got away from his friend as they were swimming back to the pontoon. Friend then made it to the shore and was able to get help. Multiple law enforcement agencies came together to look for the deputy. We used a helicopter from the state police, uh, game of fish if they had drones. We've flown over some of the land areas. Sheriff's offices using all of their resources to search for one of their own. We're really hoping for the best, you know, planning for the worst. You know, right now we we're our prayers are with family. Officials say if you know anything, to call them immediately. Now coming up at NBC 10 News at 5, President Trump working with Sweden's Prime Minister to release an American entertainer.
Find out how President Trump is working closely with the leader of Sweden to bring rapper ASAP Rocky back to the U.S. But first, Jared has a look at your forecast. Jared? Thanks, Anna. Across the region, some scattered storms have popped up from time to time as we've worked through the afternoon. We'll look for those scattered storms to continue ahead of a cold front that will bring some big changes in store tomorrow. Forecast as NBC 10 News at 5 continues. Are you a DirecTV or AT&T U-verse subscriber who can no longer watch our sister station, Fox 14, through your television provider? First, we apologize for the inconvenience, as DirecTV and AT&T has refused to accept our parent company's offer to extend negotiations to avoid disruption to your service. We encourage you to reach out to DirecTV and AT&T at the number on your screen to express your concern for not receiving programming from KARD Fox 14, in addition to the most accurate weather forecast and local news that protects and informs you and your family. Everyone deserves a best friend. Clear the Shelters is back on August 17th. Join NBC10, Fox 14, and Banner Ford for this nationwide pet adoption event. Last year, more than 100,000 animals found their forever homes. Find your new best friend. Go to MyArclemas.com for a participating shelter near you. Help an animal in need find their forever home. Together, Together let's clear the shelters. Sponsored by Vanguard Realty, Batteries Plus Bulbs, and Johnny's Pizza. It was a Friday night, and I would just gotten off work when an 18 will emerge right in front of me. Even though it was the weekend, I call Morris Bart. Injured in a car wreck on the weekend? Don't wait until Monday. I have attorney standing by ready to help you now. I switched from Dodge. We switched from Ford. I switched from Ram. I switched to Chevy. We switched to Chevy. We switched to Chevy. For dependability. For these guys. And just look at it. We, we switched, switched to Chevy. Chevy. See for yourself why people are switching at the Chevy All-Star Open House. Get 15% below MSRP on this all-new Silverado. Or get 0% financing for 72 months on all Silverado LT pickups. See your super Chevy dealer today. It was a Saturday morning. While I was sitting at a red light, bam, someone ran right into the back of me. I made that one call on a Saturday, and Morris Bart got me $270,000. Injured in a car wreck on the weekend? Don't wait until Monday. One call, that's all. You're invited to the summer's premier bridal event. NBC 10 News at 5 continues. President Trump says he's working with the Swedish Prime Minister to resolve U.S. rapper ASAP Rocky's arrest. CNN's David Culver has more on the story. With all the pressing matters U.S. President Donald Trump has on his foreign policy agenda right now, including rising tensions with Iran and North Korea, he's also using his political sway for this. The situation in Sweden. The situation in Sweden that the president refers to involves jailed American rapper and music producer Rakeem Mayers, who goes by ASAP Rocky. I personally don't know ASAP Rocky, but I can tell you that he has tremendous support from the African-American community in this country. ASAP's more than 10 million Instagram followers have not heard from him for nearly three weeks now. The Grammy-nominated artist is in custody in Stockholm. Swedish authorities detained him on suspicion of assault in connection with a brawl on June 30th. This edited video, posted by TMZ, appears to show ASAP in a confrontation in June. But additional edited videos uploaded onto ASAP's Instagram paint a different story. Look, just for the cameras, we don't want no problems with these boys. They keep following us. Look at them. They keep following us. ASAP telling his fans that these men kept following him and harassing him and his entourage, even alleging they threw headphones at his bodyguard. The Stockholm District Court decided Friday that ASAP Rocky should stay in custody until July 25th, as the prosecutor continues to investigate, claiming that he is a flight risk. The rapper's lawyer says the court's decision was expected but unfair, according to a report from Reuters. The lawyer says his client, quote, believes he was assaulted and has acted in self-defense. President Trump tweeting Saturday that he called Sweden's prime minister and told him that ASAP, quote, was not a flight risk and offered to personally vouch for his bail, despite the Scandinavian country not having a bail system. It's earned the president praise from some celebrities. Kim Kardashian thanking Trump for helping ASAP and his commitment to justice reform. Singer Justin Bieber weighing in too, tweeting to the president, I appreciate you trying to help him, but while you're at it, 
can you also let those kids out of cages? A reference to the migrant crisis along the U.S.-Mexico border. As for how Sweden's leader is responding, through a spokesman, the prime minister acknowledged that he spoke with President Trump. He characterized it as a friendly and respectful 20-minute phone call Saturday, but telling the president that his government neither can nor will try to influence the judicial process with respect to ASAP Rocky's case. Both sides say they will likely talk further on the matter in coming days. David Culver, CNN, London. Seems like he's in a storm of trouble, Jaron. Yep. And we've got our own storms to deal with, uh, most of them scattered and uh, pretty short-lived across the region. But if you're out there, uh, be careful on the roadways. Most of that stuff should rain itself out pretty quickly. There's some wet spots here and there on the pavement. We'll look at the forecast going up next. Edwards Body Works. Yeah. Reliable since 1971. Good evening, everyone. Breaking news tonight. Lester Holt. It sounds like a jet airplane out there, but that is fire. Let's talk about the max. How do you convince some skittish passenger to get on this airplane? We've met a lot of great the people. The most trusted TV news anchor in America. That's nightly news. I'm Lester Holt. This incredible ninja is also an American hero. She's the greatest mom because she's working so hard to better our lives. And Monday, witness her moment of glory. That's that mama strength right there. American Ninja Warrior, Monday on NBC. We're getting ready for a choir competition. We need your help. Matthew McConaughey, you don't need to puff out your chest like you're signaling your wife you're ready to mate. Perfect Harmony, Thursdays this fall on NBC. Wish we could afford to buy new furniture. What is this? It's your breakthrough from Cons Home Plus. Cons Low Payment Finder finds the lowest payment tailored to you. Good credit or building credit. Wow. I switched from Dodge. We switched from Ford. I switched from Ram. I switched to Chevy. We switched to Chevy. We switched to Chevy. For dependability. For these guys. And just look at it. We, we switched, switched to, to Chevy. Chevy. See for yourself why people are switching at the Chevy All-Star Open House. Get 15% below MSRP on this all-new Silverado. Or get 0% financing for 72 months on all Silverado LT pickups. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. It was a Sunday and we were driving home from church when a truck ran a red light and hit us. I made that one call on a Sunday and Morris Bart got me $168,000. Injured in a car wreck on the weekend? Don't wait until Monday. One call, that's all. Who will be our next Pay It Forward recipient? It's up to you. Just place your nomination on MyArklamis.com. Winner awarded $500. Pay It Forward. Sponsored by Jim Taylor Ford, Jim Taylor Chevrolet, Twin City Outdoor Equipment, and Hogan Insurance. Live Storm Tracker Doppler Radar, sponsored by bankruptcy attorney E. Orem Young. Now, your local weather with Chief Meteorologist Jaron Floyd. Look at the new Live Storm Tracker Doppler Radar brought to you by E. Orem Young. Most of the storms now, I 20 corridor northward. Most of the lion's share of the rain early in the day was across the southern parishes, and then outflow boundaries sent out from a lot of that uh, has spurred on some of the stuff that we're seeing in the Monroe West Monroe area, uh, stretching up along Highway 165 near Sterlington, back to the northwest, uh, and moving through uh, central portions of Union Parish. Most of this kind of diving off to the south and west, but uh, again, some of these storms don't necessarily have a lot of rhyme or reason with their general direction because they're uh, driven by development along an outflow boundary, which continues to drift off to the uh, west and northwest, and so some other isolated to scattered showers and storms remain possible over the next few hours. Again, most of the rain has been just off to our south from Alexandria to Pineville and uh, down to Opelousas and over to the west toward uh, Fort Polk, and then even stretching southeastward toward Baton Rouge. And most of this uh, activity Again, non-severe, but bringing some heavy downpours. Some flash flood concerns across uh, central sections of Mississippi throughout the course of the day. New severe thunderstorm watch uh, well off to our north and west. That is associated with a cold front that will move through our area tomorrow. And, uh, and we'll also get rid of a lot of these mid-90s that we continue to run into. Of course, that's going to be the case until we can get that cooler air mass in. Other spots, rain cooled through the course of the day. Monticello at 83, Vicksburg at 78, Monroe, the airport's at 92. Now, here at the West Monroe Studios, we've dropped down to about 87, 88 degrees with the rain that's moved in over the last...
last half hour or so. Still 94 in El Dorado and Shreveport. Future tracker shows staying warm and muggy overnight. We'll see temperatures back into the low to mid 90s for many spots tomorrow. Front arrives late. Winds will stay out of the south ahead of the front, obviously keeping us into the low 90s even into the mid evening hours. But notice how temperatures are already falling as the cold front moves through. Winds take hold out of the north and northeast. And we'll see morning lows back in the upper 60s to low 70s to start Tuesday morning off. Skies progressively clearing through the day on Tuesday, but notice where high temperatures level out. Future Tracker has us into the low to mid 80s. Some spots could top out near 80 degrees for Tuesday afternoon. Now, I'd be in the far northeastern sections of the Arklamis and it would be a pretty far stretch if it happened. But uh, again, some much cooler air and drier air headed our way as skies clear through much of next week. But we do have to deal with some rain first. Mid 70s for overnight lows tonight. Most of the showers wrapping up. The clouds will hang around though. High temperatures tomorrow in the low 90s. Showers and storms expected. Most of that will be late in the day, probably. After dark, for some of us, winds will stay out of the southwest. Look at the rest of the forecast as we head into this upcoming week. Look for rain chances to stay scattered early Tuesday. Most of the rain moving out by Tuesday afternoon. And notice high temperatures back in the mid to upper 80s as we head into Wednesday, Thursday time frame. Morning lows in the mid to upper 60s. And we'll keep those isolated, scattered, uh, isolated to scattered showers and storms back in the forecast by next weekend. All told, though, 80s in late July, something that's not necessarily unheard of, but very rare. Be sure to get up and enjoy it. All right, thank you, Jared. Coming up on NBC10 News at 5, a recent study shows the more screen time kids get, the more problems they have paying attention. A Cleveland Clinic doctor takes a look at the issue and gives advice to parents. The Vape Escape has all your vaping needs covered. Enjoy the relaxed environment and feel free to sample flavors at our convenient tasting bar. We carry the newest assortment of devices and accessories and have the knowledge and experience to help with any questions. So try and escape the Vape Escape. I drive up, I bring people dish. I love it. Why? Because what I bring makes people go, whoa. Over 80,000 on-demand movies and shows. A voice remote that leaves me speechless. Live TV streamed instantly. And it's all getting us some pretty big awards, but my reward is that moment when I let them drive. Wow. Ranked number one in customer satisfaction. Dish, tuned in to you. Ah, grill season. The steak, the char, the ribs. And at Longhorn, grill season never ends. Tonight, come get your Longhorn firecrafted flavors. The outlaw ribeye, pepper-crusted New York strip, baby back ribs. The feeling, the flavor, the place. Longhorn Steakhouse. You can't fake steak. This is an example of a dirty cooling coil, most likely caused by poor filtration. Dirty coils lead to reduced airflow, reduced capacity, and increased compressor failure. For more tips, visit our quick tips page at jillysac.com. The world's first six-function multi-pro tailgate, available only on the next generation GMC Sierra. Step up to GMC with 20% below MSRP on this 2019 Sierra Crew Cab SLE with a standard tailgate. That's over 10,000 on this next generation Sierra. See your Monroe area GMC dealer. EC10 News at 5 continues. Parents and preschoolers know it's challenging to keep them from watching screens all day long. A recent study shows the more screen time kids get, the more problems they have paying attention. The study looks at data on more than 2,000 children. Researchers found that by the age of five, kids who spent two hours or more per day looking at screens were almost eight times more likely to be diagnosed with ADHD. A screen time has become a substitute for boredom. And children have not learned to manage their boredom, to actually discover something that is going to occupy their attention other than the automatic bells and whistles of screen time. Dr. Manos suggests parents watch videos with their children rather than by themselves. And it was the final day of the British Open, but who would be on top of the leaderboard when it was all said and done? Plus, the Sunbelt Conference media days are set to get underway down in New Orleans. We'll have a live report next in sports.
President Trump turned America's economy around, cutting taxes, creating jobs. We have created 5.3 million new jobs. While American workers get ahead, Louisiana gets left behind. Democrat John Bell Edwards raised taxes, just the opposite of Trump. And now we pay, ranked dead last, the worst state for jobs. No wonder our workers are leaving. Tens of thousands, gone. Higher taxes, lost jobs. That's John Bell Edwards. Paid for by RGA Right Direction Pack. Here's your Buick, sir. Actually, that's my Buick. How are we gonna fit in your mom's Buick? Easy. I like that new Buick. Me too. I was actually talking about that Buick. I knew that. Did you? Buick's fresh new lineup is full of surprises. Get 13% below MSRP on most 2019 Buick Encore models. That's over 3,400 below MSRP on this 2019 Buick Encore Preferred. See your Monroe area Buick dealer. It was a Sunday and we were driving home from church when a truck ran a red light and hit us. I had never been in an accident like this before. It was horrible. We went to the hospital and that's when I called Morris Bart. I made that one call on a Sunday and Morris Bart got me $168,000. Injured in a car wreck on the weekend? Don't wait until Monday. I have attorneys standing by ready to help you now. Call 807-1000 or go to morrisbart.com. One call, that's all. Now, your local sports with Spencer Tillis. Welcome on down here to New Orleans as we are getting set for football season. That's right, Sun Belt Conference Media Days, less than 24 hours away. And that means we're going to get a chance to meet up with head coach Matt Viator of the ULM Warhawks, along with some of their football players as they get ready for the upcoming season. And what an exciting run it's been the last couple years for these guys. They've been knocking on the door of making a conference championship run, possibly. They were right there at maybe making a bowl game last year as they came up just short. But they have a lot of things working in their favor. They're bringing back a ton of talent. You may remember third-year starting quarterback now, Caleb Evans. He's going to be under center doing his thing again this year. He's going to have to find some new targets, though, as they are going to have to replace a ton of talent. There was a couple of guys that he's used to throwing to that aren't there anymore. Marcus Green was a two-time first-team all-conference selection last year alone, both at slot and return. He is now playing in the NFL. And he also looked like that was going to open up the door for R.J. Turner. He looked like he was going to slide right into that number one spot at wideout. Instead, he transferred over to Texas Tech. So he has lost a lot of those weapons on the outside. Still a ton of talent on this team. Some pretty high expectations. So we'll see if this year they can get over the hump and maybe get back to a bowl game. And meanwhile, there's a few other things going on tonight. Now, while the excitement and everyone going to the mics will be tomorrow, Tonight's going to be that dinner where everyone kind of kicks back, has a good time, so we'll have a chance to kind of get our feet underneath us before we get all the action started tomorrow. Meanwhile, just over the pond, it was the final day of the British Open, and what a performance was in hand for the home fans. Shane Lowry began the day with a big lead, and he was looking to try and keep it that way, but things were not going his way early on. Misses the par putt right here on the ninth for his second straight bogey, he would fall to 17 under with his lead trim down to just five. To the tenth now, Tommy Fleetwood trying to get a little aggressive and make a move, but he pushes that par putt and it is off the mark as well. The back nine we go now and Lowry playing in the sand, all types of trouble, but check out this shot, a beautiful one. Time beginning to be a factor now for Fleetwood, and he knew he had to make a run as he was running out of holes to play with. Trying to make it happen right here, but he picks the wrong place to get aggressive. That one finds the rough. He would end up parting a double bogey on the hole, and that would just about put this thing out of reach. 18th now, and Lowry making the walk up to close it out, and a standing ovation from the home crowd as he taps it in for the win. And Shane Lowry is your 2019 British Open Championship winner. I still, to be honest, it hasn't sunk in yet. It's still quite surreal. So uh, it's going to take a few days. Um, to do it here in Port Rush is just even more special. Like it is really, it, it is a dream come true. It's, I didn't know if I'd ever achieve anything like this. Um, and I have, and um, I'm really going to enjoy it. What an exciting day over there for all of those home fans. Now, like I mentioned, media day tomorrow right here in the Superdome. We'll have live reports for you all throughout tomorrow afternoon. But that's going to be it for sports for now. We'll have another look at your forecast coming up next.
Need guidance on making better financial decisions? Watch Your Money. And get tips on everything from home mortgages to protecting yourself from Internet fraud. Your Money, Monday on NBC10 News Today. Brought to you by Homeland Bank. Pick up the July issue of Bayou Life magazine and see the winners of the Bayou Puzz Awards. From beauty to boutiques and burger to bartender, it's your favorites throughout Northeast Louisiana. Pick up your copy today or visit BayouLifeMag.com. For 50 years, Cracker Barrel has been cooking homestyle favorites to perfection. We thought we'd celebrate by making our golden anniversary extra golden. Introducing new crispy, juicy southern fried chicken. Now at Cracker Barrel. Want a relaxing pedicure? Relaxing pedicure? My feet get so dry and cracked, I need serious relief. That's why I use O'Keeffe's for healthy feet. Guaranteed relief for extremely dry, cracked feet. Thanks to O'Keeffe's, I got my feet back. Hi, I'm Ken with Ken's Coffee Service, your local office coffee and filtered water cooler specialist. Now offering your chief whole home water purification system. Look us up on MyArtfulMist.com. Where's Daddy? Where did he go? <laughs> The 2019 Nissan Rogue with available Nissan Safety Shield 360. This is all around protection. This is Nissan Intelligent Mobility. Save up to $3,000 on the 2019 Rogue or get 0% financing for up to 60 months on 12 models. Severe weather can hit at any time of day or night. Be safe and prepared with the KTVE KARD weather app for Apple and Android. Brought to you by Sam Henry, the bankruptcy attorney. Pick up the July issue of Bayou Life magazine and see the winners of the Bayou Puzz Awards. From beauty to boutiques and burger to bartender, it's your favorites throughout Northeast Louisiana. Pick up your copy today or visit BayouLifeMag.com. Quick look at the seven-day forecast shows afternoon highs in the low 90s with showers and storms as a cold front moves through tomorrow. Much cooler as we head into the middle of the week with highs expected in the mid-80s. Not too bad. Yep, should be very nice. Get out and enjoy it. All right, awesome. We'll be back at 10 o'clock. Thanks for joining us. See you then.